This is Twit. Hi, Leo. Hey, hey, Eric. What can I do for you? Okay. Um, I have. Uh, well, I, I I had screensaver enabled on an earlier vis- version of uh, Windows 10, but the Creator's Edition 1703 has taken the option out. You can't... uh, I still have... You want a screensaver, but you've got no screensaver. Well, you can't... It it, it goes to it when... uh, But, uh, you know, it's still there, but there's no option in the control panel. You you search control panel... Oh, that's interesting. (laughs) <laughs> it's not there. You're so right. I just I just pressed uh, the window. in the chat room knows a registry hack. I've been in the registry. I'm familiar with it. If they know, somebody in the chat room might know how to well, go let, in. And let me go, let me tell you how to where the screensaver settings are on Windows 10. Maybe this will help you. It's not immediately obvious. It's in the lock screen. <laughs> So here's here's what you do. You you open up uh, the settings and you go to uh, uh, lock screen, which is in the uh, I think it's in personalization. So you hit the personalization button in the lock screen. At the very very bottom, screensaver settings. At the very very bottom, and the reason that's at the bottom and kind of hidden away is it's going to open the old school control panel and pop that up. You know this is one of the things I really think Microsoft blew with Windows 8 and Windows 10. There's two different control panels now. There's the old-fashioned control panel, and then there's the dumb, simple control panel, and that's the one that launches. But if you go to personalization lock screen and you hit at the very bottom screensaver settings, you will finally get to the old-school control panel, which you can now fix. That's with the new creator's update. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Isn't that weird... What is wrong with you, Microsoft? <laughs> oh, Lord above. Let's close this out. So uh, we'll go back. We'll go do it all again. So you're going to go to personalization, right? Used to have the screensaver here. Has background colors, lock screen themes, start taskbar. Where's the screensaver? Well, weirdly, if you go to lock screen, I, you know that's not the first place I'd look for it. And then at the very bottom, screensaver settings. And this is what you get now. You get the old school control panel where you can choose the screensavers and you can say how long it lasts and all that stuff. I, does this mean Microsoft doesn't want screensavers anymore? I, I just don't understand. I just don't understand. And if you search for screensaver or screensaver settings, you don't uh, you don't get anything. You get web results, which you know if you followed it, maybe would give you a place to find this. That is just weird that Microsoft did that. <laughs>